I'd say that AS Rock is pretty bold to call this motherboard a legend, but I don't think they're quite off on that. What makes this one of the best budget motherboards available in the market is that this board is complete with all the necessities. It has an excellent VRM design, 16 plus 2 plus 1 phase at 60 amps, so running even the 7950X at high clocks won't be an issue. A rather rare feature of the Steel Legend is its two Ethernet ports, one being 1 gigabyte and the other 2 gigabyte. This board also comes with an insane number of USB ports. I counted a total of 12 in the back, with support for five more in the front. Perhaps my favorite feature of this motherboard is the inclusion of a graphics card holder. This included holder is perfect for giant GPUs like the RX 7900 XDX or the RTX 4090 so that they don't sag. I wish more vendors included this nowadays. This is truly the best value seekers board. Reliable power delivery, dirty board design, overloaded with features, and an excellent price to match. What more can one want? Looking at some of the drawbacks of this board, it has a clunky BIOS, which is usual for AS Rock boards, and I do not find the design attractive. It also lacks a substantial audio interface even though the board is kitted with a premium Steel Series Niamic audio driver. And while the main PCIe x16 slot is Gen 5, the other slot is Gen 3, not even Gen 4, which seems quite unbalanced. This is even stranger because this board has three Gen 4 M2 slots along with a Gen 5 M2 slot. It would have been better if both slots were Gen 4 instead, but then this would be an X670 board and not an X670 E board, or at least run the Gen 5 slots at eight times when both are in use. For around the price of the AS Rock X670 E Steel Legend, the other boards I considered that offer a similar experience are the Gigabyte X670 Gaming XAX and the MSI Pro X670P Wi-Fi. I also saw a handful of boards from Asus and AS Rock themselves. In the end, I went with the AS Rock X670 E Steel Legend over the other affordable X670 boards. All of these boards can comfortably supply power to the 7950X to run at higher clocks, but it came down to features. Unlike the Steel Legend, most boards in this price range range don't offer Gen 5 support on the Time 16 slot. All in all, I needed a board that would yield the most value. Being a budget board does not mean that it just needs to be cheap and cut corners. What I like in this board are the decent VRM design, the dual Ethernet ports, the included GPU holder, and the abundant USB ports. On the downside, the design is not very attractive and odd PCIe layout choice. Our rating for VRM design is 8.5 out of 10. Features, 9 out of 10. Aesthetics, 8 out of 10. Value for money, 9.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10.